Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog by Hardcore Harry for your listening pleasure. Let me start off by saying, forgive me for the audio, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, as you may see from the setup here, I got a new microphone, haven't really tested it out, I did a little bit, I tweaked a few things, uh, I don't know if I got it perfect, but we're going to find out, this is how we're going to test it out, so I do apologize if it sucks, but it should get better. Anyway, today we are going to talk about something that I actually almost completely avoided. I was kind of avoiding it. I didn't want to get into it because it's going to start arguments. I know it is. Uh, well, that is if people actually watch my channel, but that's okay. The viewers are starting to come in. I got a new subscriber. So today we're talking about PewDiePie and the controversy around him saying the N-word with a hard R. Um, let me start off by saying here that PewDiePie is one of my favorite, absolute favorite YouTubers. Uh, right behind Markiplier. So, the thing with PewDiePie is, earlier PewDiePie stuff just like video games, like just his Let's Plays, I wasn't a huge fan of. Uh, I didn't dislike him, but I didn't really care for him. It, just the current PewDiePie, the like, current Felix is just, I don't know, he's awesome. He's, to me, that's kind of who I want to aspire to be not I don't want to be somebody else but you know like that type of style I want to aspire to be that like that's uh, just awesome I don't know he's just he's blunt he's honest he comes right out and says stuff and he's hilarious while doing it and you can still see the times that he's awkward which is huge for me because I'm pretty fucking awkward in front of the camera a lot so of course this is going to defend him this video is meant to defend him um how what is little old me matter defending 57 million subscriber PewDiePie but every little bit helps and it's just I don't like what I see out of this you know so he dropped if you're not familiar he dropped the n-word in a live stream immediately you saw on his face he's like oh shit what the hell did I do he said you fucking n-word and then he was like oh shit fucking asshole and, like, Philip DeFranco brought up a very good point in that he used it, by correcting it that way, it showed that he used it not as a racial slur, but as, like, you're a fucking asshole. That's how he meant it. Should he have said that? No. But for people to say, he's racist, he's racist, he's racist, this piece of shit, he's not racist. It is a bad word, it's not good, but it still is just a word, you know. Words do have power, but they have power because we give them power. The original definition has nothing to do with race whatsoever, but it's just that a group of people turned it to, do, to, to mean that, and now it's just so taboo, you know. And I'm not saying we should freely use the word, I'm just saying we give that word too much power. I think he knows he shouldn't have said that, and I'm not saying that he should have ever said that, but he apologized, you know, and I know he messes up, it seems like, a lot, and apologizes a lot, and it's, at some point you're like, you know, how many apologies can we take, but in this case, a lot of people, a lot of his supporters say, you know, you don't need to, you don't need to apologize, there's no reason to apologize. I disagree with that, I, I think his apology was good, I think that was a smart move, uh, I think it was the right move, but, like I said, the social justice warriors just take it too fucking far, like they do with everything anymore, you know? What isn't taboo anymore? You can't do anything without somebody fucking calling you out about it and saying I'm offended and that being said before all the fucking social justice warriors come out and start talking shit uh, you're a fucking Trump supporter no I'm actually not I voted for Bernie fucking Sanders thank you I hate Donald Trump's guts I hate fucking Nazis guts and everything about that side of shit I just can't fucking stand it but the far left the, the conservatives just take it to a me, the liberals the far left liberals just take it to the other extreme and it's like you can't say anything anymore and it just it sucks and that's like that's kind of why like when i'm doing this shit when i'm when i'm recording and like i said i try to stay away from controversial subjects it's because i don't know who it's gonna offend anymore you know but i gotta not worry about that it's like fuck it if it offends somebody it offends somebody at this rate who cares who fucking cares if you're offended sorry that sucks to be you if i say something 
like PewDiePie did on that live stream, then sure, I'll apologize for it. But if I'm just speaking my mind, I'm not going to apologize for shit. I'm getting off topic again. Um, you can tell. If you, if you watch PewDiePie, you can tell that he is a good guy. The live streams he does for charity, you know, the money he donates, the the good that he does, the, the people that he inspires, all that, the inspiration, the, the just the fact that he made it doing something like this and other people can look and be like, yeah, I could do that one day, you know? I could do that. It's the, the inspiration. All that good stuff doesn't get covered. Yeah, just like with anything else, the media just twists it to fit them. They show the clips of the bad shit, and they don't give it any context. And it's just, it's so unfair to him, it's so unfair to all of us, because... People say, he needs to watch himself because... It's not just him, it's, it's our entire community, you know? It's, it's our entire community that when something like that happens, when he does something like that, when the biggest, most recognizable YouTuber says something like that, it paints all of us in that light. You know, it, it, it makes us all look like that. That's true to a degree, but it's not because of anything he does or says. It's because of the media, it's because of these assholes that like to twist shit, you know? It shouldn't be like that. And he did this as something just for fun, and now he has this burden on his shoulders where he has to watch what he says just because it could, it could ruin everything for everybody. And how is that fair to him? He didn't ask for that. How is that fair to him, you know? And like I said, it's not his doing, it's the media's doing, it's the naysayers doing, it's the assholes who grab on to any little thing they can to be like, oh, well, this person of this, uh, you know, type is an asshole and says this shit, that means all of them are, so... I don't know, and it's, I have so much I want to talk about. I keep saying, it seems like you've gone off topic, but this all does fall into one thing. It's all wraps into one thing, and I'm probably going to make another video, because this, if I go into one, if I do this all into one video, it's going to be too long, but I got another video for, uh, I can't think of his name right now. Uh, the dude from uh, Campo Santo Games, the, the, you know, the Firewatch company, what he did, I'm going to talk about in another video, because that's another fucking thing that just pisses me off, but him saying that shit, uh, like I said, that's going to be another video, I'm not going to get into it in this one, but my point is, it doesn't seem like I have a point, I'm just rambling, my point is, we need to stop being so goddamn sensitive about everything. We need to calm down a little bit. I'm not saying we need to be like, oh, PewDiePie, uh, you just said the N-word. You're fine. You know, if we gotta hold him accountable for it and, and say, you know, you should be apologizing, that's fine. He apologized, and that was good, but we have to stop being so sensitive about this shit. And just because somebody messes up, that doesn't mean they're a fucking racist, you know? Like with the anti-Semitic thing about him, uh, I think it was Fiverr he was on, talking about when he, you know, said make a sign and hold it up saying kill all the Jews or whatever that was him being like look at what idiots will do for money should he have necessarily done it that way maybe not but the media that was another case where they just all they showed was the fact that he wanted someone to do that and they made it look like oh look at him he wants people to go put signs up like this and shit like no the point was look at the stupid shit people will do you know with him dropping the the end bomb that's all they show is that and they're like look at him being a racist he and they almost make it out to look like he found you know a black person and was and, and called them that online well that's not the case at all and in, in a in a fit of anger over a video game, he slipped up. You know? And that's what it was. Which brings me to a point here where I want to talk about this. So, as a video gamer, I say shit in anger all the time when I get angry. I get very angry playing video games. Um, so, I say, yeah, fucking asshole, fuck this, fuck that. I come from a generation, and I'm not saying this is right, but like my generation, we always said, gay, this is gay, that's gay, instead of stupid, like this is gay, that's gay, as just, you know, a way of talking. 
I'm not really meaning anything by it in most cases, but this is like it was a way of talking. So online, there's still a lot of us that'll say, oh, it's gay, it's gay, this is gay. You're gay, what are you doing? And it's, or in most cases, they use the F-bomb, and I don't mean fuck. So, I'm not, it's, it's not okay that they say that, but people almost take it as that's okay, that's just them talking. But he just, he lets that slip, he lets that word slip out in a fit of anger and that people jump all over it. So it's like, what about everybody else that does it? The other day I was playing player on Battlegrounds. I ended up in the lobby with a bunch of little kids. I ended up in the squad with a bunch of little kids. They kept saying the N-word over and over again just for shock value or to be assholes. I don't know what, but like this shit goes on and I understand he was streaming it and more people saw it, but like just because you're not streaming you're still playing these games online. You're still saying them. A ton of people are still hearing this shit. So, just because you're not streaming doesn't make it right to say this shit. So, what I get out of it is, is people are like, well, it's okay to be bigoted and, and to be derogatory and insulting to people as long as you don't use this word or this word. You can call someone a motherfucking piece of shit asshole. That's okay, but don't call them the N-word. That's the problem with a, a lot of people these days, is one thing is okay, whereas another thing of a similar nature isn't okay. And honestly, it just frustrates me, you know? It frustrates me to see a bunch of people who claim to preach love and understanding and goodwill towards everyone have such anger over this word and use that anger in such a hateful fucking way to, to call this person a scumbag, a piece of shit, a racist, all this. Meanwhile, they're sitting there talking about peace and harmony and he shouldn't have used that word. We're supposed to love and, and that's just such a hateful word. He is such a fucking piece of shit. I hate that asshole. It's like, okay, dude, because that fucking makes sense. Oh, shouldn't be hateful. I hate people that are hateful, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, it's always going on, just, in this case, it really frustrates me, you know, it, it frustrates the shit out of me, and it, it makes me worry, because what am I going to say on YouTube one day when I'm getting into streams, what am I going to say one day that offends somebody, and am I going to have some shit like this happen, and you know it has to be stressful on them, despite everything, it has to be stressful. You could tell in the apology video that he's fucking, he's stressing over it, but whatever, you know. It doesn't matter because he's such a piece of shit scumbag, you know. Love everybody except for the people that you don't like, right? Anyway, I'm done with this episode because I'm just getting real angry. But stay tuned because like I said, what's his fuck from Campo Santo Games might just have a mic drop coming his way. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel. Do you feel he was completely out of fucking line? Or do you feel the same way as me, you know? Drop some likes. So please comment. That helps. Subscribe if you haven't already because that makes my numbers look good and it actually helps me out a lot and please 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 share with all your friends let's get a conversation let's get a discussion going here oh and most importantly don't just have a great day have a hardcore day